it was the last chance to reach a big audience, to win over undecided voters or consolidate a lead in the polls. Both candidates made strong accusations. Pedro Pablo Kuczynski said his opponent, Keiko Fujimori, the daughter of the jailed ex-president Alberto Fujimori, would drag the country back to the 90s, when her authoritarian father was in power. I am convinced that freedom is in serious risk now in Peru. That is why I call on all Peruvians from all the political leanings to defend freedom and use our vote to close the door on a return to a dictatorship, corruption and lies. It is now or never, citizens. To the last vote, viva Peru. Peruvians either loathe or adore Alberto Fujimori, who is serving 25 years for directing death squads and corruption. Keiko, the heiress apparent to his lingering popularity, is leading by six points in the polls, thanks to a strong campaign and backing from poorer voters. She claimed Kuczynski would govern for the rich. Our country has a new opportunity today. It faces a fork in the road with two choices, to continue with the same policies which are designed to only benefit big investments from big companies, or to look for change and take a path towards a future of inclusive policies that bring shared growth in which all Peruvians have the opportunity to prosper. But Gajinsky flagged up serious allegations that members of Fujimori's party were being investigated for links to drug trafficking. He warned Peru, under Fujimori, could become a narco-state. Unfortunately, Mrs. Fujimori, 11 of your lawmakers are being investigated for money laundering, five of whom are being investigated for their connection to laundering money with drug traffickers. This is very serious, because this tells us that in the coming years, we risk having a drug state here. Fujimori rejected the allegations. I categorically deny Mr. Kuczynski's charges in which he says Fuerza Popula would be connected to drug trafficking. A week can be a long time in politics, as the old saying goes. Polls show nearly 40 percent of voters are still undecided or could spoil their ballot. There's still much to play for in this election. And just maybe luck or good vibes could play a part. This runoff could turn out closer than the numbers suggest. Dan Collins, CCTV. Lima. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.